Hey guys, uh, Eric Daniels here, aka Eric D. Killhound, and uh, just here to show you uh, some stuff that I got from uh, Shields and tell you about just some other stuff that I picked up at a pawn shop because right now it's downstairs in my dad's room where my mom's sleeping and it's like oh, 5.30 in the morning I think, quarter after, something like that. So, to begin with, Spider RT. I know, it's a spider. You know what, Shields was on sale for 100 bucks. Now, I picked up another spider that didn't have the recharger and I figured I'd just pick up another battery for it um, I picked that one up for 20 bucks at a pawn shop 20 bucks at a pawn shop so I decided I would just get this you know the recharger and battery by themselves were like 30 bucks I figured well you know I could have two guns with you know still have a recharger and I can just pick up a 9.6 somewhere you know rechargeable 9.6 put it in there and now I got two guns and this was on sale for a hundred so now I have another speedball gun um, well my dad wanted a speedball gun so he that's why he got this um, also this was the shields in st. cloud uh, Minnesota um, now I know some people out there say the rocking trigger is a cheater trigger or something like that. Um, honestly, I can see why they would say that. Um, but really, in a spider, who cares? I mean, it tops out at like 15 balls per second. So, who cares if it's supposedly a cheater trigger? Um, you guys shoot out there shooting your um, egos can do like 30. You know, and you can run a, run them on a, or your egos, or your DMs, or you know, even your your cheap, like your Proto SLG. That'll still do like 25. Um, you know, so you're running like a Pinocchio on them or a Rotor or something like that. You can still outrun that gun, you know, with a non-cheater trigger or whatever. So who really cares? Um, like I know I got a Lasoya Pro Master that I gotta get running up. I need a new reg and an ASA. But um that thing tops out at like thirty two and that's in semi auto. I can like it's just it doesn't matter. It's a spider. Who really gives a crap? It's a hundred bucks. Um but and that was a while back and that's that's a good gun. I like it. Um uh, shoots, you know, got a good BPS out of it. Um you know, I did notice that if you're not running a good hopper on it, like I was just running my uh, my uh, Revy on it, my you know, and it was not keeping up quite. It was it wasn't keeping up quite all the way, so I did break a paint a couple times, but this is really no big deal. Anyways, so um, I went over to Fargo the other day with my dad and a friend of mine that's going down to D-Day with me who's over here for three days um, we went over to Fargo and we were running through the pawn shops and uh, we picked up at Pawn America we picked up a uh, view loader Orion for like 25 bucks now the plans are we're going to turn it into another AT gun so we have two of them right now one of them's uh, TAC-5 but the Orion already has an 11 inch barrel on it it's plenty accurate and it's small enough that you can turn it into a Piat instead of a full size bazooka and have a nice small little AT gun that you could uh, sling and still carry your main marker too but be able to take out a tank if it was coming or at least try because you know they got DOS buzzard and a bunch of other crap and you gotta shoot a target that's like the size of a poke, like the size of a playing card. So we picked up that view loader, and then um, we picked up another uh, Titman XT, the or the or the XL, the XT or the EXL, the one that's blue and uh, has the stock A5 barrel on it, uh, the original one they made. Uh, Uh, that one we went to another pawn shop and all their paintball stuff was 30% uh, off 
so they wanted like 50 for that one and it ended up being like 30 or something like that um and then i got something that i'm very happy to now have i'm gonna make a video of it by itself because i have that gun up here right now and uh I, I have owned a new community of gun owners, uh, of paintball gun owners, um, with this gun. So, I'm going to make a video of that by itself. Um, like I said, we picked up that view loader and that uh, XT for like 55 bucks all together. Um, and that spider was like 100 but that came with the charger and everything that I needed. <coughs> um, and that was a while back I got that brand new on sale um, let's see what else did you pick up uh, my friend Mark got a got a pair of die i3s for 30 bucks and they're in they're in like brand new condition um, that that was awesome uh, we almost bought a kit over there they had two stingrays one with a longer barrel and the stock barrel and then one with just the stock barrel and then they had a splatmaster repeat and uh, some other stuff like some pod carriers and a couple masks but they wanted 130 bucks for it and uh, my dad and I already have two uh, stingrays and when we picked them up they were only 10 bucks so we decided against that one um, I'm gonna take a trip to Fargo here in a few weeks again right before D-Day and see if maybe that dro they dropped that price because it when we had talked to them we were kind of talking them down and they were it, it looked like they were going to give it to us for like half price but then they backed off and so i'm going to go over there in a few weeks and see what they've done or if they sold it maybe but uh they also had an ion for 60 bucks because it's leaking out of the asa but with smart parts out of business i decided against that uh, because I had already got the other gun that I, I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, well, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to show you this other gun. And uh, see you in a minute.